Welcome back to my channel. This is Nana from Nana's Cooking Corner and the second part today of the sourdough bread recipe. So I have given instructions from this point and now we're going to continue on. I'd let it rest for three to four hours. You want it at least whatever it takes to double in size. It's right here and that's how much it's riven. So it's done really good and it's ready to be pre-shaped and then shaped and then put into our baskets. Now, um, I'm going to first thing I'm going to do also a little point is um, you should have rice flour and 50% all purpose flour if you're using this so that it doesn't stick to the counter in the baskets um, because rice flour doesn't absorb all purpose flour like makes it still sticky. Hi, Kristen. And the rice flour doesn't. It stops it from sticking to the material, the counter. So a combination of all purpose 50, 50, 50 all purpose flour and 50 rice rice flour. So now I'm just going to put a little bit. Well, have a nice lunch. I'm going to do a little. You're going to put more out there, but I just want a little bit to dump it onto so it doesn't stick. See, it makes it kind of slippery. Okay, and, but it won't absorb into the the uh, sourdough. So look how nice that is. You can see it's got a lot of air pockets, and that's what you want. We're going to just dump it on here. Now, I have a scraper, but it's going to all come out. It's kind of cool how it comes out. If it doesn't, then I'll scrape it out, but I know it's, it's going to come out. I have one of these soft scrapers if we need it right here. Kind of fun how it looks like it comes all together. Let's see if I can get it all out. I don't even need this. Uh -huh. See how it is? There's really hardly anything left in here. I just got very little, but I'm going to scrape it out anyways. Okay. So now, what we are going to do to pre-shape it, this is going to make two loaves. All right, so we're going to, I'm going to make sure I'm doing this right, like this part. You got to let it rest for 20 minutes. After the dough has risen, dump it gently onto the slightly countered surface, and we're going to divide it making two loaves using a wet dough scraper. So this is a wet dough scraper. It's just wanting to put a little bit of water on here. So we're going to separate it in half. So we're roughly. All right. Try to put it. I don't want to take all the, the air pockets out of it because that's what makes the nice bread. But we are going to try to roughly shape it in half. All right, and then we're going to take it. I'm going to wet this a little bit more, just a little bit, because it makes it from less sticky. Okay, and then we're going to make this into a round. 
We want the top to be smooth because when it bakes and when it comes out of the basket, so I'm going to make it round. You're kind of strengthening the sides of it and you don't want to touch the top of it. You're just turning it round. Now it might need a little more water. Just a little bit of water because it, it uh, takes away the stickiness. You don't want a lot of flour until after when we go to shape it. This is just pre-shaping it. And I got to keep pre-shaping it a little bit and then we're going to let it sit for 20 minutes. Okay. Need my hands wet, but you need a little bit more water. Let's move this back. I don't have a lot of room here. There we go. Let's get it nice and round. Don't want to get I want to make it round, but I don't want to take the ear pockets out of this. Okay, so now this one I'll come over here and I'll wet my fingers again. I wonder how to make kiwi ice cream without ice cream maker, but I have, oh, okay. I don't know. I've made ice cream before. I'm gonna do my hands again. I want this to go around the shape. You can do it. Well, 
I'm not going to work too much because I don't want to overwork the dough. But basically, the pre-shaping is turning into a circle. You use a little damp, damp paint, a little bit of water in your hands, and the scraping tool, a little bit of water, not too much. Okay, then we're going to let it rest. It's got to rest for 20 minutes. So we'll let the timer. Okay. So let's get 20 minutes to it. All right, now we're going to, we kind of shaped it up. Let's let 20 minutes. I'll come back to it in a minute. I'm going to use the rice flour and the flour to shape it. So we are just going to let that rest. And then in the meantime, while this is resting for 20 minutes, we're going to take these the baskets and we're going to put a lot over all of this, dust it all up. Make it sure it's good and then just take the rest and put it back in. One, because you don't want it sticking anywhere. And like I said several times, the rice flour doesn't absorb into the, the dough, so it won't make it wet. And so you just put that there and it won't stick to it. When we go to put them in here, I'm sure all sides got stuff. Here. There. We got both of them set, which is good. And we're going to need a little bit more to form the dough. All right. So we're creating a surface tension for the bread. So we're going to flip this because the top, that's the top, flip this into the basket and then we're going to stretch, do a little bit of pulling tighter and then we're going to cover it up and put it in the fridge. So we need the rest in period right now. Uh, let's see. All right. We are just going to rest. Um, <laughs> Not much more we can do. We're gonna wait 20 minutes. I'm gonna put it with flour. We're gonna flip it upside down and stretch it. And I'll show you how to do that. Then we're gonna wrap them up with plastic or a cover of some sort. And then be overnight. And then tomorrow morning I'll come back um, on the 10 a.m. live stream with a preheated oven to 425 with the Dutch oven in it. So I'll put the Dutch oven in my oven and then preheat it to 450 for 30 minutes. So it's nice and hot. Then I'm going to open the lid. This will be all um, popped out of these onto um, paper, uh, parchment paper. And then we're going to shape it, like cut it, I mean, design it. And then, then it's ready for the oven tomorrow. So if you got any questions, go ahead, shoot, because I have a couple minutes of quiet time until we're ready to do all this. She's causing more air bubbles and it's relaxing um, the glutens. Hey, hi Mish. There is my bread. Well, not bread yet, but tomorrow will be bread.
Well, we'll see. It should be a little smoother than this, but we're going to see how it turns out tomorrow. But because um, you got to pre shaping is putting a little bit of water on your fingers, a little rice flour, and you kind of have to make it into a circle. Because then after I'm done this, I'm going to actually literally pick it up, turn it upside down because th this is the top of the bread because it'll be reflipped out and that's your top. Yeah, you should use rice flour because the stuff will stick. 50% rice flour and 50% all-purpose flour. The rice flour does not absorb into the dough, and that's what you want. You, if, if you put the normal flour, yeah, if you put the normal flour, this dough will stick right in this basket. That's why you're using the rice flour. So any cloth or anything you're using, um, it won't stick. I'm going to try something after this one. I know these are the right baskets, but... In case you couldn't afford a basket, I've been showing this one here is what I'm going to try next. I'm going to make one in these. You basically put a tea towel over top of it, right? A tea towel over top. And then I have a shower cap to go over top. So I'll be practicing with that the next batch of bread I make in a few days. And I'll show it later on. I'll take a picture and I'll show it at least um, when I'm done. Hey, Bill, welcome back. So this should be, if you're get, doing it, make it as round as you can, okay? So sometimes it'll be a little awkward. Don't over, you, they, you're not supposed to overplay with the dough, but you, you're, it should be a little rounder, but I tried. I was trying to use the scraper, right, and you make it round as much as you can, you know? But I'm not going to touch it now. Right now it's the rest period for 20 minutes, and then I'll show you after that. So thank you guys for joining me. I hope, you know, uh, the end product will be tomorrow. So I hope you guys um, watch the whole thing. And then as long as everything looks nice to you, then uh, I hope you do it. Yeah. Is that, is that cross your fingers? Um, you don't want to overwork the dough because you, you, well, you don't, it wants the ear pockets. It wants to come up. So you, you form it the best you can into a circle. And then from there, we're going to put this top upside down. And then I'm going to show you a couple stretches to kind of stretch it and make it tighter. And then we're going to wrap it up and put it in the fridge overnight. So if all goes well, it should be, you'll see it. It'll be rising, risen tomorrow. It'll be like up, up here. Well, at least the level here. And then we're going to take that and flip it upside down. Well, thank you, Bill. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. So we are just, like I said, waiting the 20 minutes to let it rest again. Once you pre-shape it, then we're going to Oh, thank you, Misha. Happy Mother's Day to you, too. Sorry if I missed it. Thank you. This is what I'm going to do. I want to wait till the 20 minutes. And then we're going to put a little bit of flour on the top of this, flip it, kind of tighten it up because this is the ends up being the, the top. Yes, Bill? You want something? Oh, cool. Okay. That's fun. The squirrels will like it, too. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, that sounds very cool. All right, looks like 11 minutes. So I'm going to make sure I do something here. We're going to make sure that's the top, so.
I'm going to take this, flip it, make that the top because it's flat. You'll see I'm going to do something that I think this is the step I got to do next. But either way, um, you just watch and follow along. That's growing fast. Oh, the peanut plant is growing fast? Good on you. Good on you. Patient I am. Wait a minute. Ten more minutes. Oh, it, is, it should be growing. It, yeah, it is. It, it's going to grow because of the yeast. So if it looks like it's getting bigger, it should be looking bigger. It should be bubbling and everything. Uh, Bill. So yeah, that's a good sign. If you see that it's doubling and bubbling and all that, that's, that means your starter is working really good and, and the yeast is built up nice. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You can only get better with this. You know, you have to understand this is my first time doing it alone. I feel pretty confident so far. I'm pretty good. I'm right on the money. Now that this part is the part that let's see what happens, but um, I'm, you're not making this anyways right yet. So you have time to see if anything goes wrong. You'll, I don't feel it's going to go wrong, but I'm just saying in case it did, you know how to fix it because you'll see it right here and I'll show you how to fix it. If something goes wrong with this particular bread by tomorrow, we'll know, we'll know if it's all nice and I can't wait. I'll even, you know, cook it, take it out. I can't cut it for you because after you bake it tomorrow, you have to leave it for two hours. You're not supposed to touch the bread and you can't eat it right away. You have to wait for two hours. So, yeah, this is not, this is a slower, obviously, process to make this bread. But can't touch it, leave it for two hours, and then you can have it after. So we just, like I said, I'm biding my time to let this pre-shape and then we're going to put some flour on top flip it over then i'm going to do a little bit of kind of stretching to make it go in um this this you'll you'll see what i mean because this is going to be end up being the top when you flip it or the other one the next shaping is going to be basically the top because you have to flip it over so you'll see what i'm doing in a minute i'm just waiting for the time to go by so i got eight minutes to go It looks like a lot of dough, though. It did rise really well. If you look at the beginning um, of when I first started this live stream, um, my dough was like way, well, I guess you can't see the banister, but let's see if I can move this down. That container, where's my marker here? I'll move that over for a second. That was here, and it was way up top, up there. Um, so it rolls really nicely for me. I'm going to, I don't need this anymore. So we're going to move that out of the way and I'll have to do these dishes after. And I need a razor blade for tomorrow. So we're going to put that, I leave it all set for the next live stream. So we need that little razor blade for tomorrow and some parchment paper. Oh yeah, it at least it, it it at least doubled. Like it was like it, it has to be close to doubling, so it went pretty high compared to where the bottom. Look for the bottom of the tape, not the top of the tape. So the bottom of the tape, and you take that from the other where, where it was. Um, yeah, it doubled in size. It's a nice. It's going good. The yeast is going really well in here. So we are letting the glutens relax. Oh, you mean on the counter? Oh, okay. I just went back to see. It almost doubled. Oh, you're talking about from when I first poured it out. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, 
okay this you know this part there's a lot of waiting in here so i'm just can't wait to get it all in high cliff and we'll get it all shaped up and ready to go in the the, the uh, containers So this is a really loose bread. That's why you're kind of like kneading in the containers to keep, hold the shape of the bread. That's what you use them for. Well, Nana, I can't wait to can't wait to wait because I'm only on day one. Again, it's okay. Hey, Cliff. Nana Pete. <laughs> Nana Pete. You want to go by Pete? Now I'm going to get confused here. Um. So yeah, have patience um, and it, it's going to come out. It's not that hard. Now, the beginning of this was pretty easy. It's like understanding it. So, you know, you start out with the 50, then you 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 uh, get rid of 50, then you get rid of a uh, odd 50 and 50, then 100. It's all there, all the way up to when I made the Levain and then you get the Levain. Then you make the bread recipe, which was on here this morning, the first live stream this morning. And then from there, we're at this point, and tomorrow will be the last live stream where I'll be done the bread, which is exciting for me, too. I can't wait. can't wait to get it all done. And then I'm probably going to make, I want to make a loaf from scratch, right? Again, I'm going to do it again from the, the stuff. Don't ask. Okay. Don't ask. Okay. No problem. I mean, no more. <laughs> Four minutes to go. See, I guess you could make this bread, okay? And if you couldn't make it tomorrow, you could actually leave the bread up for 12 to 36 hours, 36 up max. So if I couldn't make my bread tomorrow, then I could probably, as long as it falls within 36 hours, you can make it the next day. Like, because let's say you're doing something, it all depends on when you finish to this point. Um, yes, not till later on though. I'll be here, Misha, in the morning at 10 to make the bread and then I'm not going for Mother's Day supper till probably four or five o'clock at night. So I'm going to be here for a short while tomorrow. Just enough to show you what the bread looks like. Yeah, very nice. And I hope you have a nice Mother's Day too. Absolutely. I got two minutes to go. You're welcome. You're talking about the starter, not the bread. The starter you can have, you're talking about, you can leave the starter for a long, long time, not the bread. Someone I know makes it, says you can put in the fridge up to two weeks till you're ready to feed it. Are you, are you talking about feed it or bake it? What are we talking about? Because the bread, the bread you have up to 36 hours to make bread, not the starter can be for a long time. Yeah, it sounds like a starter, yeah. Because a starter can be for years and years and years. As long as when you see it that it's starting to get too liquefied, then you have to take some out, discard, and feed it a little bit. 
the, but the starter can last for years and years and years. There's people that have had it or actually my, the one that taught me to make the bread, hers has been in the fridge for seven years or no, sorry, not seven, three, but I was listening to somebody else that had it seven. Some had it longer than that. So yeah, it, it, you can have it for a long time. All right, we're almost done. So what I'm going to try, well, we're going to, let's see. Oh, so I just want to stop the timer. All right, so we're going to dust a little bit, and then I'm going to shape it now. So we're going to put a little bit of flour on the top of this, just a little, because you have to dust it off after anyways. Then I'm going to take, oh, there's a the scraper. Okay, let's do this. We're going to take it and flip it upside down. All right. And I'm going to put some more water on this. Okay. Yeah. Water's going to go on here just a little bit. Damping up my fingers again. I'm going to flip this upside down. Am I getting a little too close to that? To stretch it. My pan is oval, okay? So you want to stretch it, not stretch it, but form it. It's more in the shape of an oval now. Okay. Now. Because I'm going to tighten this again in the pan. Now, if you want to look at other channels to see how to form it, you can do that too. Because right now, um, I, I'm just learning myself. The forming's not coming exactly right on, but it's close enough. Okay. So we're going to take all this. I got to take it off. I got to take it off. And it's got to get flipped or I'm going to put it in the basket like this. If I can do this, <laughs> let's see. Nope. Hmm. I need some more flour. Sit down. Okay. <laughs> My finger shouldn't be flipped like that, but we're going to do this close enough. See what happens. We're going to flip it upside down. And I'm going to wet my fingers just a bit. If you're having trouble, you're supposed to put just a little bit of water on your fingers. So I, you can kind of st stretch it like this, take the sides and cross it over, cross it over. So this, when I flip it, the bottom is going to become the top. 
So I want to, this doesn't matter how I do this in the, the pan. You're trying to like strengthen the size by what I'm doing here. Okay, we'll see what I, that looks pretty good. All right. Um, so now at this point, let me take a blunt bread, but you can have, um, you can have one of those eight, the um, shower cups, or there is those bread covers like the plastic for food. So I'm going to just tie this, right? So leave it loose. Right, like it's kind of loose on top. It's, this is one in the fridge. It gets proofed all night. And I gotta do the next one. Okay. Now practice makes perfect with shaping this, but you're supposed to flip it. I'm gonna try this one better this time. I don't want it to get stuck. So you wanna put it there so it doesn't get stuck. Now I'd be doing it, keep, I would keep doing it round. This actually, it's making me laugh though, because this is supposed to be, See what happens. We're gonna take this. I'm do this a little differently because I don't want it sticking in my hands. I'm gonna do it this way. But you're supposed to flip it, right? But I'm going to see. We're gonna see what happens here. And I'm gonna tighten it here and tighten it and tighten it. Um. Welcome. Hi, Pete. <laughs> Welcome back, Pete. <laughs> All right. Welcome back, Pete. Can, can you see how I'm kind of, I'm trying to stretch it, okay? The two sides, like I'm taking a piece and crossing it over. He's lurking. All right. I don't think there's a peep. I want to see the book club and they were making bread and said, did you rub the dough? Did you rub the dough? What does that mean? All right. That looks pretty good. But you are, don't put too much water. But when you're working with it, you don't want to overwork it. And you can use your hands. This The scraper can be a touch wet, meaning this, and your hands damp because it won't stick as much. But then when you come to form it and put it in the basket, you kind of need you need that so it's not sticky for you when you're going to – because tomorrow I'm going to pop this upside down. Oh, it was a fun movie with Diane Keaton. All right, so I am done with this. We're going to duck. I don't need this at all. We're done at this point with the rice flour. You don't need any more of this. But tomorrow I'm going to need flour. Because you're going to see what I do with the flour tomorrow is what makes the design for it. Look at I got a, look, look at that's really good. I got air bubbles here. Okay. 
And I'm going to take another one of these. Or I didn't want to try this yet because I haven't used it. So I have this. But I want to use do this for today. And then the next set of bread, I'm going to use those caps to see how they turn out. All right. Not loose. I want to put a little bit of red on it. Just so it doesn't stick. Right. Okay. Just a little knot. Uncomes just a loose knot so it comes undone easy. I'm gonna put this on the bottom of my fridge. All right, and they are both proofing, and they'll be baked tomorrow. I'll probably just bake one in front of you guys, but um, that is what I'm doing. I need a razor blade for tomorrow. We're going to need a little bit of flour for tomorrow. So, um, got the flour right here ready to go, right here. I'm going to move this out of the way and clean up as we chat. I'm going to get the heck out of here. looking forward to it. okay I, you won't like visual visually i will show you everything because i can't because i can't show you baking in my oven but i can turn the computer towards the oven like i'll and um i'll show you when i pull it out what i'm gonna do what it looks like but the the, the part that's kind of cool is you want to watch how i decorate it it's kind of fun you can decorate it whatever you want but the decorating is fun for me because if you go really deep with the razor blade, you'll have a really big crease in it, a crack. If you go lightly, then the design stays together. But you need one main, you need one strong slice because um, it's going to separate anyway. So that's what they do with sourdough bread. You have to put a slice in it. And it's like sculpting. Are you talking about the bread part or, or tomorrow? Okay, I don't want to move my computer anywhere. There's too much water. But I will come out. I got some stuff right on here. When you cut design in it. Oh, okay. Well, it's fun. I'm just telling you that's probably one of my favorite things is when I go to do it tomorrow when I do the design. I, I only did one, but you can actually kind of do all kinds of designs. But like I said, realize when you're taking this razor blade, right, and I have tape on it. Now, it, it does come up with a little stick there, but there's different shapes, like different kind of blades, but you need a really sharp blade. And when you go and doing it, you do small designs, go softly, and you go really hard to do a major crock in the bread. But it needs at least one major crock. You have to cut it at least somewhere some people just split the top. Like if it was a round bread, they'd come across one way, then the other way. And that's what I want to do with the, the round bread, like the basket. I'm going to fool around and see how that works. Uh, I want to see if you don't have to buy these specific baskets. Can you use, it looks like you can use any basket. So if people didn't have the money to go buy all the, the kit and the design of those baskets. But Benetton, Benetton they're called. I don't know if I'm saying it exactly right, Benetton. Um, those are a little bit pricey, you know, so you might not have to do that. I'm going to get, I'll get this ready since we're talking. I will need, I'm going to wipe this down first, but, uh, you'll need a piece of parchment for each one, right? So I can get this, this is kind of getting it ready for tomorrow. Um, because I'm going to flip it on the first one. There's the first one, okay? We're going to take the basket tomorrow. We're going to flip it upside down, dust off the rice flour, put flour on it, and then do our shape. 
Um, and then from there, you take it and put it in to the Dutch oven, which will be already nice and hot, which this is my Dutch oven. Right. Here, open up. There's my Dutch oven, right? So I'm going to put this in the oven, then reheat it to 450. And then I'm going to, the bread will be already designed. You have to work fast with cutting it, okay? So you, you flop it upside down. You kind of cut it fast. Then I'm going to probably take um, a cookie sheet like this to keep the shape. And then you come over here and you kind of have to lift this up when it's really hot. So you got to be careful. And take your sheet and pour the bread right there and it drops in like that. That's how you're doing this tomorrow. In case you don't see all of it, that's what I'm kind of showing you ahead. What I got to do tomorrow with it. So that's about it, guys. That's it. And... Um, I have a recipe that I wonder, this is not nothing to do with sourdough, but I'm dying to make this, so I might show you. It's called a hummingbird cake. And if you've never heard, it, for Mother's Day, I'm making it for my mom and my daughter for Mother's Day. And if you haven't heard of a hummingbird cake, you should see what it is. It's just, it's got pineapple, bananas, it has everything in it, and it's a really nice recipe. And I'm excited to make it tomorrow. Have you? That wanted to make one of those i don't know would you i don't know if you want to uh see me i have to finish the live stream of the bread so tomorrow i'm going to come on and do the bread and then i can chat with a longer live stream but to make the bread if you or the cake if you want to join me for the cake just tell me or uh if you don't that's okay too because i'm literally making the cake right after i do this live stream for the bread no, it's not using a cake mix. No, it's all homemade. No, it's using flour and sugar, butter. Um, I, I, it's a list of things you got to make homemade with it. So if you want, I can make it in front of you. I'm following my recipe too that I just, I want to see if it's any good, but, um, but it'll take a while to make the whole cake and everything. So if anybody wants me to do it, I'll, I'll make it in front of you. If not, I'm making it anyways, whether I'm on the live stream or not. So, um, it's up to you, but let's finish the bread and then I'll tomorrow I'll finish the bread and then it's done for the whole sourdough, you know, starter and sourdough bread will be finished. And I got to move on to like recipes of sourdough and discard, but I'm also going to throw in really cool recipes in the middle that are not just sourdough. So what do you think? Um, it's going to take a while. So if, if not, that's okay. I can do it offline or if somebody wants to join and we can chat as I make it. Um, just say yes or no. It's up to you. But I will be at 10 in the morning. Man, I'm still rocking that apple fritter bed. Oh, okay. So you, but you'll rewatch it. it. All right. I don't know if anybody wants to join me tomorrow and um, I can do it for a while, but it's going to take a while because I have to make, not only do you, I have to have the cakes and I got to cool the cakes and I got to make the, the the thing well as long as long as you're here for the bread the bread is what's important we'll finish up the bread and then from there i'll ask if you guys want to join me or not um and i'll either do another open live stream for it or not worry about it so i'll discuss that tomorrow with you guys if you want to see cake is important <laughs> Cause it is, it's a, a long, you have to, it's not long. It's just, you have all kinds of stuff. I got to mix butter. It has flour and it's got sugar. And let me see if I get the recipe here. I got, I got it. Uh, it's so on my purse. I don't think my purse is with me, but anyways, uh, and it's going to be a three layer cake. You're going to like this recipe. I don't know if I can type it though. We'll see. We'll see if I type it. Because I normally come on, type the whole recipe, and then I start the recipe. So I'll see what I can do. Because I want to be good about typing the recipe. If anybody needs it, they'll see it. I just saved one the other day, and I wonder if it's the same ingredients. Um, it's a lot. Like I said, let me see if I can remember on top of that. It's got, obviously, baking soda, baking powder, flour, sugar. Um, 
inside of it, you're going to love this. So, okay, so it's a normal thing you bake. bake baking powder, baking soda, salt, um, flour, sugar. And then it's a can of crushed pineapple. And then it's a half a cup of coconut. And what else? Um, I don't think if I got everything in there. Because then the icing sugar is made with cream cheese, icing sugar, vanilla, uh, butter, unsalted butter. Um, and then you put it all together. It's a three-layer cake. And then you have the topping is toasted pecans and, and coconut. So it's got like a – inside is pineapple and coconut. And um, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something telling you the ingredients because it's quite a few ingredients. But, Yeah. It sounds the same. Well, like I said, we'll see tomorrow if you want to join me. Um, I can do it. It'll be a long live stream, though, because of making the three cakes and icing and everything else. So we'll we'll see how it goes. But like I said, if you want to rewatch it, cool. I'll write the whole recipe probably. I'll try to rip it on top tomorrow. Anyways, guys, it's been uh, 51 minutes. I knew this live stream was going to be long. Because of all, this is one of the longer live streams because I have no choice. You have to do things, uh, set it aside, you know, let it rise, proof, do all these things with it. So now I'm at the point. I'm very excited. So now we're just going to flip it, decorate it, bake it, and then that's the, the last of the live stream. So I'm going to let you go. I hope to see you tomorrow, at least for the baking of bread. And if you want to join me with the cake, I think you're going to like the cake. But anyways, I'm going to let you go. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow morning, guys. Thank you very much. Have a good day. I'm out to the garden now. See you later.